Hi friends, Miss Kathleen here. Today we are going to be talking about the clay station. The clay station is right next to the drawing station and it has lots of fun modeling clay supplies and tools for us to work with. At the clay station, you will see containers on the top that have different color clay inside. And down here are your clay kits. These clay kits are what will go back to your seat with you. You can take the whole drawer out and take it to your table. In your clay kit, you have a modeling clay container, you have messy mats, you have rolling pins, and sculpting tools. If you and your neighbor are both using clay, your setup will look something like this. You have your messy mats down to protect the table so the clay does not get stuck on the table. And then you'll have your modeling clay to share, as well as your sculpting tools and rolling pins. Before you start creating your clay masterpiece, you want to come over to the clay station and pick up a small piece of paper from one of the little green bins at the station. Modeling clay never ever dries out, so you want to make sure that you have your name on this small piece of paper so you can store your artwork on this and from class period to class period you'll be able to continue to work on it and add details. The modeling clay can be a little cold and hard to work with so you are going to have to warm it up between your fingers or in your hands like an oven. You also are going to be working small. You are not going to be creating huge projects with the modeling clay. You are going to be creating small masterpieces so you do not need a lot of clay. If you are working on a clay project and you run out of the color clay that you need at your seat, you can nicely come over to the clay station, look inside the drawer of clay color that you need, and you can grab a refill. You can just take one little stick back to your seat with you, and then you should be good to go. If you have extra of that stick that you took back to your seat with you, you can just put it back into the little clay container. It does not have to go back into the rainbow drawers. So right now I am working on a little donut project. So I started creating my donut. I used brown clay and white clay and some colored clay as well. It is the end of the class period, but I'm not done working yet. So I take my small little paper. You can keep it this way up. You can put your little donut on top, and then we will know that is yours. Now, you are not going to put your clay masterpieces onto the drying rack because they are not going to dry, and they just won't fit. So you are going to take your clay artwork, and it is going to go onto a 3D cart. This is where all of your 3D artwork will go, and then it will be stored until the next class that you can continue working on it. Here's a self-portrait Miss Kaplan made of herself out of clay. Now, like I said, we will be working small. So this is pretty tiny. Here's my hand, and here is my artwork. So it's not very large. And it's really fun to work small like this because you need to pay attention to details, and you can really make some beautiful things out of the clay. Now, the modeling clay does stick to your fingers, and it can get in your fingernails, and you will have slightly dirty hands. We do not have time at the end of class for everyone to wash their hands at the sink or during class either. So I don't want to see everyone crowding around the sink. You will not be washing your hands. Instead, Miss Kaplan will either give you an art wipe to wipe off the messy clay, or you will use some hand sanitizer to get it off. And then when you get back into your classroom, you can wash your hands there. When it's time to clean up, both of the messy mats should go into the bin first. Then you can put your tools, and then you can put the clay. The whole thing gets picked up, and it will be returned to the clay station. You can stick it inside the little metal parts, just be very careful, and then push it into the section that it needs to go into. I can't wait to see what you create at the clay station. Have fun.